Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So what's up, everybody? Uh, love seeing the chat being all lively before we start. That has been awesome. Appreciate you guys. Seriously, uh, here we are. It's another Monday. It's Labor Day. I hope everybody's having a fun and safe holiday. And uh, yeah, let's get the show on the road. Let me get it over to my buddy, James. What's going on, Omis? Back at you again for this Labor Day edition of Vipin' with the Omis. Today, I've got a couple setups for you guys. Something I picked up over this past weekend that I was really, really excited about. Finally got my hands on that green dreamer reverie combo absolutely loving it with that beautiful black button look at that i got a lovely chop top or actually no this is a half moon mod strip tip the dalmatian absolutely loving this setup inside of it rocking that tango melon as you guys know i absolutely love this stuff getting down to the end of the bottle so not looking forward to that gonna be having to look for a new juice that i'm gonna be vaping on all the time and of course gotta be rocking the beautiful warlock's hammer with that nice custom engraving sorry guys the light's not really doing it justice but yes finally have it back in my possession after sending it out for this engraving and i'll tell you guys one thing i missed the hell out of this box absolutely loving it i gotta take a vape on it because it's got my yep back on that savage marcellus life guys oh i've how much i've missed this juice it's insane Press 30 T's inside of that too, by the way. And some of my boy, Matt Carruthers, Duvo coils inside. If you guys haven't seen some of his patina works, he does great patina jobs and he makes some banging coils. So make sure you guys go check him out. And of course, cleaning it, cleaning it up with that mini fit pod system. Yeah, I have some of that uh, Yami Salts Jusu. It's like an apple peach something or another. And I gotta say, I'm actually loving this stuff. 35 milligram. Been, this thing is always in my pocket everywhere I go. One of my daily bangers. And yeah. that's it for me, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to the one, the only Q80 Vapor, my boy Aziz. Welcome back, dude. We've missed you. Hello. I'm back. Look at my face. <laughs> how how you guys been doing? Uh, I'm sorry for the three weeks absence i uh, took some personal time off and now i'm back first of all i'm vaping on my vape, tro vape droid x1 c2 black ultim with the aluminum trimming the drop solo with a chop top drip tip from dhd vaping on the hometown hometown hero laser world laser wolf sticky bun ice cream oh good oh yes thank god i i, I let it steep and my second vape which is the warlocks guardian from mark himself the magician the wizard with the mm. uh, hugs vape Lotus RTA. Ooh, nice. Vaping on my all day vape, which is surf satisfying. Never fails. I've seeing you pull up that bottle, man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Last but not least, my Miley with the cool mint. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to give it to Mr. Poonsauce. What's up, everybody? The McNasty. Yeah, the only nasty one here, I guess. Okay. First setup I got going tonight is my... I, brought, I decided to bring this guy back up. My Vupu Drag with my ghoul on top. Inside of there, I got some Can Only Be One by Casadaga. And then my unregulated setup for today is my Timeskeeper Revolver with the Exoskeleton with the Sherman 28 on top. Yeah. And there I got my lovely, trusted blue, Blueberry Jam Monster, which is always great. And with my pod system, I got the Soul pod system running nice. on my Mango Pods, which is my first. I'm still on my first pod, and it's Dude. almost down to the bottom. Mango is life, bro. Mango is life. So that's my salt fix, and that is it for me. 
Let's pass it back finally to the one and only clown. Yay. Let's see if I can get this going. Awesome. All right. So uh, let's see. Got the me pod since we're doing pod systems. Really yeah, have fallen in love with this guy again, man. Uh, had to revisit it. And then that I got the Yami Salts Tortoro, which really good. I mean, very surprised. Like, I'm really interested in what you think about that because I've got a bottle of it sitting here that I haven't dude, tried yet. It's sweet. It's got like that nice like uh, creaminess to it, and it's not throaty. I mean, what is this one? The 30, 30 milligram? 35. 35, yeah, the 35 milligram. Nice. It's not throaty at all, dude. I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of that. Then up uh, next, we're doing hammers. Yeah, buddy. In love with that this guy. Beautiful Joker setup rocking right there, bro. Oh, yeah. And then in that one, I got the cinnamon bread. I think I have a tutorial video somewhere on my on my channel for that. It's a really good, like, cocoa, cinnamon kind of thing. Ooh, sounds tasty. It? Kind of like hot cocoa almost. Nice. Yeah, like just straight hot cocoa with a little cinnamon in it. Does it uh, give you that powdery feeling? Uh, at least not me. I don't know about you, but not me. I might have to send you a bottle, see what you think. I know you you have like issues with the powdery. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then uh next I got my uh camo El Thunder oh, rebel on top. So pretty. Yeah, dude, this thing came out pretty cool. Man. Dude, I can't wait to get mine. DHD drip tip on there. Ooh, is that that uh the new what it meant? meant something no this is one of the older ones this is one that i just had from like that i bought last year i like it i like it a lot and then that i got uh clouds of mass destruction toxic shock very nice good juice right there we'll say that one is a low wattage juice man the higher up you go the higher the lime rind taste kind of goes yeah it, it's really heavy on the lime and i'm like seriously in this i'm rocking like a 0.15 and it's doing really good man nice and then, since we're talking about Matthew Carruthers, have you guys oh, seriously? Dude, that looks beautiful. Yeah, that's he did an awesome job on this thing. And then, uh, on top of that, I got the Azeroth. You know what is that? Retro vaping at this point, right? Yeah. And then my recurve drip tip on there, and me and James got something in common here. Yeah, buddy, the Marcellus, Marcellus life. Yes, yes, yes. Got to do that, man. So good, so good. Oh yeah. So that is me. And that's what I've been vaping. All right, let's let's talk some vapey stuff. Um, you want to well, do some see. shout outs? Yeah, let's get into shout outs real quick. Well, you know what? I got to shout out this man right here because he's first one to pop in the chat. My boy, Shadow Link Vapor. What's going on, my dude? Much love out there to you. One of the fellow filthy casuals in the uh, Vape Stew Discord. We got my man, Jacoby Vapes. What's going on, brother? Brian Enoch, always holding it down with us omies. Always a pleasure seeing you in the chat, my dude. We've got our one and only Frank Freaking Wolf, the glorious moderator that, he, he, honestly, guys, he kills it for us every week, and not only for us, but on the Vapes do every Friday. Got to send a bunch of love out to Frank. Uh, the man himself, Mr. Mark Clough, who is it? responsible for these beautiful pieces of art yes. and dude honestly if you guys haven't gotten your hands on one of these yet you're missing out so go check him out on uh facebook the gathering vapor lounge also you can contact him on instagram uh, i believe his instagram is mark cloth 73 so make sure you guys go check him out we got e the everyday vapor what's going on my dude we have who else we got in here? I know I've seen my boy Dan on my Lanta. He couldn't be on with us tonight. He's got some family stuff going on, but glad to see you popping in the chat, man. We miss you. Hopefully, we'll have you on next week. We got Vaping Joe M. How's it going, man? We had Raven Shadows in the chat as well. How's it going, brother? The one and only Livia Lee. We call her the Mama Raider in the, va uh, the Vape Stew Discord. Absolutely love having her in the chat. She's always wonderful. And, of course... Amy Clough, Mark Clough's better half, who is responsible for the very personalized oh, yeah. logos on each and every single Warlocks mod that is produced. Absolutely love that personal touch. We got uh, Christopher Horton. Who else we got in here? We got, we of course, UK resident. Our UK. We do, Mr. True Vapors. If you guys haven't checked him out, he's also got a uh, YouTube channel, The True Vapor. 
make sure you guys go check him out there. He's also got a fa Facebook page as well. Awesome dude. Awesome guy that we hang out with on a daily basis. Does a lot of great stuff and uh, he's been doing some pretty good reviews, guys. So go check him out. Show him some love. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We got, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Stan, who's responsible for this whole beautiful setup right here. Absolutely love the Dreamer and the Reverie. So big shout outs to Stan. And of course, you know, all the rest of the Supreme Stooges as well, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. Oh, yeah. And uh, of course, my man, Danny Castle, Ender's other game, King Tot, Black Cat, White Face Vapes, Monochrome with Domino, What Is Up, Shane Oakley. And if there's any of you guys I missed, I'm sorry, but you know, we got to move on with the show. We might do a little shout out section later for you guys, but absolutely love every one of you guys in the chat. Wouldn't be here without you guys. No kidding. So back on over to you, clown. All right. Uh, so let's get into a little quick advocacy talk. Um, do you guys have any news or just jump into what we were talking a bit ago? Nothing new? I think the only well, thing we found out was about that California thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, everything else is still up in the air and the FDA is still being kind of fucking pricks for lack of a better term. Uh, but California did release a new statement some around the lines of um, talking about how they're going to allow for basically short fills to where they can sell zero nicotine flavored e-liquids. And then if the you know brick and mortar wants to sell them nicotine, they could just sell them like a little thing of nicotine and the purchaser can actually go home and put the nicotine to what they need to do. I feel like that's kind of eh, like as a DIYer myself, I personally feel like you have to take quite a bit of precaution when mixing e-liquids because nicotine, I've had that fall on my skin and just imagine like the most Nick, like the biggest Nick fit you've ever had and just like skyrocket the hell out of that thing. It you really feel really sick and ill just from like a drop getting on your skin because it you can't absorb it through your skin. And I feel since, like depending since, on the strengths and all that. Since you mentioned the the, the 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 DIY side of it, doesn't it change your mix uh, portions? Change the, the the flavors basically. Well, that, yeah, that's another one because I mean, okay, like in the UK. They do short fills, right? And they just mix it up to how much it's going to be. And then they just add the nicotine and the VG that it's suspended in. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's that same idea. It does like I do notice the difference in flavor when you have nicotine and not because nicotine does add a little bit to the flavor. Like uh, the more nicotine you have, the more the like that punch seems to be in there. It's like a whole different thing. Like, uh, I remember uh, somewhere around here, I used to have like a bottle of 12 milligram for my uh, like mouth to lung setups and stuff like that. And that has a completely different taste than like my three milligram stuff that I have in front of me right now. Yeah. You know? Uh, on that topic, clown, say if people were going to San Francisco and all that and buying the say the short fills and everything and they you know how the law is you have to mix it up at home what would you recommend as the correct way for those people to handle that nicotine well i mean a good one is buy gloves seriously just like good and uh, like those neoprene gloves let me see i think i have one over here like these style of gloves and stuff make sure you're like your hands are nice and covered if you really want to take extra precautions wear like a long sleeve or something that'll cover you up really good but a lot of it is just be careful yeah i mean uh true vapors said uh let's see instead he's some about using a 72 milligram to a 100 milligram okay yeah, yeah i think i know what he's talking about um uh, like when you buy nicotine in its purest form you can get it in different strengths just like you can in e-liquid and like me the one that i get is like 100 milligrams per milliliter and that stuff is like heavy. So you do got to take precautions. You could get it as weak as 42. I think is the weakest I've seen. If somebody else has seen something weaker, please correct me. But uh, yeah, Hobeg just said in the chat, the 100 milligram by milliliter is no joke. No joke, so, man. That stuff, it, like I said, 
get it like, like a little bit on your skin and the worst nick fit you've ever had just skyrocketed it really like you just feel ill your stomach yeah. starts hurting and that's that it just like a drop fell on my arm yeah it's just right makes a good point off. too is they should sell like uh nick shots with each purchase of the you know of the short fill that way they have all they got to do is just tell the shop what milligram they're looking for and mm -hmm. they can give them that exact amount. And like he says, it's to prevent any accidents from happening. I totally agree. That's a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. I think that's something the shop should definitely do because that helps not only, you know, keep the user from, you know, have, making an error and putting too much in or, you know, getting it on their skin or whatever it may be. It just kind of, you know, it helps them figure out what exactly they're going to need for whatever milligram they're trying to aim for. Also, what they can do is like... Uh, <clears throat> What's the brand that uh, Groom Green talked about? Something Barn? Liquid Barn. Liquid, liquid Barn. Yeah. They they do the whole VGPG uh, nicotine in, in a bottle and... Uh, the mix yourself in? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, those are options. But I mean, more in the sense of like in California, they're trying to do short fills. And if you go to buy a bottle of e-liquid, let's say it's like barely full to like there and then the rest of it you're going to dump in nicotine i feel like you still have to have some precautions behind it uh true vapors is in the uk maybe he he knows a little bit more about how they do short fills out there i know uh he's shown us before and i've seen it before where like their uh their bottles this cap right here actually twists off so you can yep. put a short fill in there which i think that's a pretty cool idea which i guess we're gonna have to start adopting if that you know what it it yeah. might be a good idea for when this actually does end up happening to get like someone like Chu or uh, someone who's knowledgeable about these short fills so he can kind of give you guys a rundown of what, you know, the whole thing entails as well. And he can kind of give you a insight into how it's, the industry is going out there with the, the whole short fill side of things. Yeah, there he goes <laughs> about the, the, the removable nozzle. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I just – it's one of those weird things that as a DIYer, I – I could see the dangers that come with it because I mean, not everybody's precautious, not everybody pays attention to what they're doing and they can make themselves very ill. And then, then we get, you know, the barrage of news stories about somebody getting themselves sick over e-liquid, but not getting the entire story. And that could just be another thing that blows up in our face. No pun intended, but uh, I just feel like that wouldn't be like, like the best of routes to go, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> it's definitely something you know people are gonna have to educate themselves on just like with anything in vaping if you guys are gonna be going about that route or if your state's going about that route and that's something that you're gonna have to do just educate yourself on it that way you know what you, you know what it all entails and what precautions you may need to take you know just like everybody's saying if you're gonna be doing the short fills you're gonna be adding nicotine in wear gloves That'll help save yourself from getting anything on your skin. You know, wash your hands directly at, right after doing it. That way you don't have to worry about that as well. You know, just you know, like Clown was saying, just go and look and see what, you know, your percentages are going to be. If you're going to buy a big old bottle of nicotine or whatever, that way you know what to mix it to. There are a lot of good e-liquid calculators out there. Yep. Uh, uh, on my older videos, I have links to some of them. Uh, you could hit up any of the DIYers. You there are a lot of like good DIY groups on Facebook, oh, and yeah, honestly, anybody there's willing to help you. Like I'm just, yeah. just depending on the group. Some groups are very anti uh, cloning, but for the most part, if you just have a question about how to handle nicotine and stuff like that, honestly, hit them up. I think one of the ones I use mostly is like DIY University. They're on Facebook and they. Those people, I mean, they could help you out with anything that you need to find or any information you might need. Yep. So, and you know, get involved in some of these groups too on Facebook, guys. Like, if you join the Vape Stew Crew group, there's a lot of DIYers in the group that you know, if you post a question on the page, they'll be more than willing to help you out with whatever questions you need. Same thing with the Clown Crew group and the Vaping with the Omies. You know, that's a, an, another platform you guys can utilize. You know, just leave a message on there and you know i know clown does diy we've got mark cloth he does some yeah, DIYing as mentioned. well there's we have people you know in the groups guys that do that type of stuff so if you have questions i know mark's always willing to help clown's always willing to help so just don't be afraid to ask us questions and you could always send us questions to the vaping with the omies uh at gmail.com 
You know what I mean? And if, if we don't have the answer, we can find someone that has the answer and we'll get that to you. No problem. That's what we're there's here no for. There's no such thing as asking too many questions in this industry. Yeah. And there's no such thing as a dumb question either. The only no, dumb no. question you ask is the one you don't ask. That was something yeah. I was taught when I was a kid. And I, I kept that, you know, something that I kind of live my life by. Especially you in know, vaping, I feel like. Absolutely. It's better to be yourself. safe than sorry, man. You know what I mean? At the yeah. end of the day, we want everybody to go home at night with all their fingers, all their toes, you know, all that good stuff and wake no up the next morning the same way. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't need any of that, guys. So make sure you just, you know, like we said, do your research. You got questions, ask the questions. There's plenty of people out there. There's plenty of places to get the information. So... Like Stan that said, note, that short fills are pre-measured out. Like, I wonder if they're going to be able to do that here, though. You know, they should be. They should be, but yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to. <laughs> to be honest, like, it should. It seems like a pretty common, easy thing to do. Yeah, I mean, juice companies will have to adjust, but if you think about it, knowing of what the stuff's been going on, and, and like ever since the the San Francisco flavor band went through, they should have been preparing for this kind of thing already. And, and Connie, you are right. You know, the problem is not everyone will, in the community will educate themselves. That's why we, we've got to just do our parts to help educate anybody that we can. You know what I mean? Uh, I know you do big shout outs to, of course, to not so scrawny Connie, always blowing up the Instagram with all the best advocacy posts, anything that's going on. You guys ever need to know about check out Connie. She's always got the right information. She's uh, lead on that advocacy fight, man. Absolutely. Go check her out on Instagram. Not so scrawny, Connie. Um, but yeah, guys, with that, that being said, it is Labor Day and it is Labor Day weekend. So that does mean there's quite a few sales going on, guys. I don't oh, know yeah. about you, but I've definitely seen some. Uh, anything out there that's caught your guys' eye or any sales that you're particularly uh jumped on or you know seeing that some of these people out here might be able to utilize before the day's over definitely definitely um if you guys were ever looking i know a lot of the omis on the panel use transistor well frames and swag eventually found them. Well, well you guys will get some don't worry about that but on their online stores they have they're on giant vape and they're on ejuice direct which both websites are having 15 percent off an entire purchase any any purchase of juice on eJuice Direct, and I believe it's the same thing on Giant Vapes as well. So think about awesome. it. You're, if you're buying maybe two or three one twenties that are like twenty bucks a piece, fifteen percent off that. It's a pr it's like you're getting buying two getting one free. So how can you turn that down? Getting three one twenties for fifty bucks. Nice. What about you, clown? I believe your site's got something going on for the Labor Day weekend. Yeah, we have a 20% off, no code necessary. It's just instantly taken off from your uh, whatever you add onto your carts, juice, coils, everything on there. Go grab you guys some of that, uh, white, uh, what is it, uh, super cereal? I've super been hearing cereal. fantastic things about it. Some of that uh, fruit basket Tyson's right here. Blend. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about that fruit basket too, guys. I want to try that Tyson's so. blend though. Yep, that Tyson's blend I'm excited about too. I've been hearing about that. Um, I've actually got a couple sites here with some codes for you guys. Uh, we've got uh, DHD, uh, Double Helix Designs is doing a Labor Day sale for 25% off. If you guys didn't know, it, the code is LABOR25 from what I believe. I actually went on there today and grabbed up a couple of those nice little chop tops that she's doing now. Um, also, we have Breezy.com is doing 35% off all of their juice this weekend for the code LBD which I believe stands for Labor Day. We got Hometown Hero with a 20% off code for Labor Day sale is the discount code for that. And then we got quite a few with some, uh, j the codes Labor Day for all three of these guys. We've got my V pros for 15% off. We've got the one and only lucidrda.com is doing a 25% off sale with the code Labor Day as well over the weekend. Uh, just so you guys know, a lot of people hopped on the site and he's down down there in the stock. So if there's something you guys want to grab and you know you see it on the site now, grab it while you can. We also have 8Vape is doing 12% off additional to uh, some of their sale items with the code Labor Day. We've got Vape Royalty has a 15% off code with LBD for Labor Day as well. Smacks with the code Relax for 25% off. 
along with Valiant Vape, or Valiant Vapes, uh, formerly known as Vape 100, has a 20% off code with LBS. And of course, we mentioned Clown Vapes is an automatic 20% off, guys. So those are some great deals you guys might want to grab a hold of. I know I, was, I actually got online this morning and ordered some more of these nice dhd chop top tips i got a uh green uh, green color changing one that i'm really excited about that thing's probably going to be married to the either the hammer or mm -hmm. to the uh, green dreamer setup here guys and i also picked up a uh another chop top it's pretty much these two colors mixed together so i could rock it on either mod which i'm pretty excited <laughs> about let's up that little foot again let's look at how matchy that drip tip is oh yeah and just just look at that matchy matchiness that just look at that like the oh. exact blue that you oh my god that's i love this i absolutely <laughs> love this setup guys yeah. love this setup i was actually looking for a tip that might match this one and i think i have one dude but... there they she does have a really oh, nice wait, turquoise wait. tip on the site I that i think would probably look pretty good on there and she already released the the halloween ones Oh, yes. Oh, the carry those, tips, dude. I, I, I kind of want a carry tip so I could rock this white L Thunder right here. Yeah, with I kind of want a carry goon. tip for this one. Get, put a red goon on there with a the carry tip. Oh, dude, that would be beautiful. Right? Beautiful. Was it like a, kind of like a blood dripping down the tip tip kind of thing? It's like a white frosted tip with like red blood splatter on it's it. Like it's like frosted. Uh, it's awesome. Like yeah. Pattern almost. It's pretty dope. It's awesome. James, let me give you a piece of advice. If you want to order from DHD, uh, she has, uh, you know, the little box that you put your notes mm -hmm. at the end of the shopping cart. Just type in uh, anything you want. For example, if you want that carry uh, drip tip, just type in, I want more clear than red. Yeah, and she'll she'll yeah. actually customize yeah. them and find stuff exactly. that works for you guys. Yeah. That not only that, but there's a lot of times where if you guys write her, she might actually have a color that's not on the site to do a little custom action. So you never know, guys. Never hurts to ask. That's why those little comment boxes are there. Sometimes you know they throw in little extras for you guys. Um, exactly. One thing I also <laughs> grabbed up this weekend because I saw it on sale and I've had my eye on it since it's dropped was that. Uh, that District 5 limited edition Cosmonaut, that black and gray camo. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Yeah, it's going to be. They're nice. Yeah. Yep. I'm very excited for that. Uh, what about you guys? You guys see any sales or anything that, you know, grabbed your eye or, you know, some things that well, you picked up over the Labor Day weekend? If I'm not mistaken, uh, black, cat, black Cat White Face Vapes. Just said kidney puncher has a thirty percent on all wire. Oh, for awesome! All of our builders in the chat. Yeah, yep. all the builders out there. Kidney puncher is some great stuff. I know, clown. You use some kidney puncher. I know yeah, uh, I like a kidney. lot of our a lot of our builders use a kidney puncher. Guys, good stuff. good stuff. I actually yeah, have some uh, kidney puncher aliens in here right now that were made by Matt Carruthers. And guys, say guys, they're pretty banging. Yeah, he uses kidney puncher wire too. And uh, there's a stand up 3D is having a sale 30% off. If you guys want like mod and like uh, atomizer stands and stuff like that, got some pretty cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Stuff kind of all daddy stands too. Also, yeah. uh, stands similar to wanna... stuff like this. You know, these little 3D printed stands. Pretty oh, cool. that, that looks cool. Glows in the dark uh, too. So you won't lose it? Exactly. Uh, for you guys who want to win, maybe get a chance to win a Hexome, go on to Craving Vapor's Instagram account. They have a post for a Labor Day discount, and if you, I think if you spend more than 20 bucks, you'll get a chance to win a, a Hexome V3. Ooh, awesome. Nice. Definitely a good deal right there. One of these bad boys right here, guys, is what he's talking about. <laughs> Hex on V3. Oh, if you guys dude, that... if you guys can't tell, I like green. Um, no, I thought you. Oh, and this is this know. actually kind of customized because my buddy, our own Dan Mylanta, actually shined up the Hexome symbol in mine, so it's got a nice little shine to it. Loving it. Big shout outs to him for doing that for me. I still want to get a purple one, dude. Hey, hey, hey. I, I clown, you have clown. You have the the. 
or orange powder coat is, right? No, I don't. I'd show you mine, but mine looks jacked up because I dropped it. Dude, I've oh, dropped dude. these. What else is new, Corey? Oh <laughs> my took, god, bro. I you took have that, one. The whole, oh, the whole, no, no. Uh, this is this is this is what I made. This is this used to be the orange powder coated and I took the whole paint off. Look at that. That is shiny, very shiny. Did you clear coat that afterwards? Nope. Nope. Oh wow, that's cool. Keeps it so clean. hashtag fingerprint magnets. Oh dude, it's a mirror. Then no, like <laughs> I, I'm I'm <laughs> afraid to use it now. <laughs> Chris Lopez has one of those nickel editions. Oh, yes, dude. So beautiful. I'm so jealous of that setup, man. But, yeah, guys, I, I know a lot of people were looking at uh, all the juice sales going on this week because, man, there's some pretty good sales going on, guys. I almost grabbed up – or actually, I did grab up a couple bottles of some stuff over the weekend. Um, I ordered some, uh, some more Marcellus because I – had. Only had one bottle. Pick this. Pick this up on uh, what is it? Valiant Vapes. They had a good deal going on, but unfortunately, I think all of their uh, Savage 100 line is sold out. Yeah, I have like three bottles that should come in tomorrow. So yeah, they're they're selling for like three dollars and fifteen cents for a hundred mil. So I was like, uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna grab a couple bottles for sure. I think because they're trying to get rid of all the bottles with the old labels on them too. So yeah. As far as I know, Connie. Their stock on it. Um, I haven't seen any sales on any double barrels. Uh, if so, if I ha did guarantee it, I would have told you guys because the double barrel is one of my favorite all-time mods. Love this thing. Absolutely yep. love it. I can love it. Yeah, that's something I want to give a try at some point. Dude, honestly, man, it's it's super simple to use, straight wattage, you know, five clicks on and off, three clicks Dude. locks it, four clicks flips the screen. You know the what I mean? Factor alone. The form, exactly the form because I'm. Sad. You guys know me. I'm a tube guy, so just this alone, it, it's the way that it's cut. My fingers fold right into the you know the spaces between the two barrels. I I'm a thumb firing type of guy, so that works. It also works. Uh, you know, index fire, great all around mod, guys. I highly suggest it for sure. Oh, and big shout outs to Chuck Allen for. Hooking me up with this nice LE shell, number 11. Is he oh, in the chat today? I don't know if I saw him yet. I don't know if he is, but if he's not, he'll listen to it later. Yeah, and he'll watch it later. He's a busy guy. We, we love Chuck. Chuck's awesome. I don't know if Local Vape has a Labor Day coupon code, but if they don't, you can use the, what's it called, the Ruby Roo for 30% off or 20 I believe 20%? so. It's 30. Yeah, it's 30% off. Code. <laughs> so what what about you guys in the chat is there anything out there that you guys have seen that you guys have been wanting to pick up or any sales that you've seen i know we've had a couple people drop you know some discounts in the chat for you guys as well um that's pretty much what this show is about this week guys trying to tell you guys about what we we picked up what sales are out there um Trying to help out people get gear that they normally can't get. Yeah, the, the, we're we're getting into that time that time of the year, guys, where it's just going to be sale crazy. So there, you're going to find them all over the place. Oh yeah, we got the holidays yeah. coming up, so it's going to be insane for the next like two three months. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We got what? What's the next holiday coming up? Thanks. Halloween. Uh, Halloween. Halloween. I would Halloween. say there's Halloween sales. Thanksgiving. Yep. See, we got uh, Shadowing Vapor. He picked himself up a Warrior RDA, a Saber MTL RTA from my V Pros. Awesome, dude. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on that. I'm really, I know I'm really excited for the Warrior RDA. I've been waiting months because unfortunately I got one of the first release of the black with that resistance issue. So I've been kind of just waiting to get my replacement from Matofo. Yeah. Once that comes in, definitely you guys will be hearing about it. Um, also, something I picked up over this past weekend from, uh, I believe I picked it up from Vapor DNA, is that new profile RDA from the one and only Mr. Just Right One, or vaping with Mr. Just Right One for that matter. Mm. One of the Supreme Stooges. Super excited to try that out, guys. I've been hearing fantastic things, and I'm even more excited because it's going to be my first experience with Mesh. And uh, from what it sounds like, it sounds like for my first experience, I'm going to have a pretty good one, so... 
super stoked on it's that. the right one to have a first experience with to be honest yep that's what i've been hearing i know there's a lot of people out there in the chat that have them i know vaping miner has one he's loving it um i'm sure there's a couple other people out there we have the man himself mr just right in the chat absolutely loving it and just want to say man we're proud of the success that you're getting so far you know i know it's just dropped but Things are going in a good direction, man. I've been hearing a lot of great things. I know a lot of the Stooges have been enjoying it. I know I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, it's always great to see our uh, Supreme Stooges doing well and, you know, getting recognition and all that good stuff. Can't I, I will say I'm very excited to see what he's got next for us, for sure, because I know he's probably got plenty of ideas. And then... Uh, Definitely. What is that? Prime Row RDA for 30% off. Very nice. Also, um, Vape Happy has a coupon code for 25% off all e liquids. Uh, free shipping over $25. It's, uh, the code is We Salute You, one word. Awesome. awesome. Hello, Swags. What is going on, Swaggins? How you doing, buddy? Oh, Jesus. Hey. Look who's here. Hey. So, yeah, dude. So, perfect timing. We are just talking about uh, some of the deals that are going on this week and uh, some of the deals that we jumped on. I was just telling them I hopped on that DHD 25% off sale this morning, grabbed up some of those Chop Top tips. Mm -hmm. What about you, my dude? What, did you pick up anything cool or you grab up any of those deals over the weekend? Yeah, I splurged a little bit. Um, hold on. I just, I just, uh, got back in the stash. Yeah. Uh, so stash. let's see here. Um, yeah, I spent a little more than I should have, but the deals are the deals, right? And you just got to jump on them. Uh, I bought a, uh, limited edition EDC cosmonaut, um, L thunder combo. It was like $130 off. So I had to jump on that cause it's both my favorite tube mech and my favorite RDA of all time. Uh, yeah, I got buddy. some DHD tips last night. I got a couple of the Halloween ones. I got the bat tip and the potion tip, if you know what those are. Cool. If you don't, go check them out. They look pretty dope. One of them glows in the dark, so we'll see if that's uh, worthwhile. Maybe that way I can vape in the dark. That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I have one. Uh, this Mother of Pearl drip tip actually glows in the dark, and it actually glows pretty well, man. It. I was in my car the other day. And like I had it sitting in my cup holder and looked over and I just have this floating green dot. I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, buddy. So we'll see how it works. Um, that profile, I think I heard you guys talking about the profile yeah, when dude, I came tell in. Us what you're vaping on, dude, bro. I'm jamming on this profile right now. Yeah. Um, so basically before I go on to what I'm vaping on, um, hey, uh, Omis and Stooges and everybody in the chat and panel members, sorry I was late. Uh, I didn't even think you're I was going to be able to make it. So I just figured I'd hop in. Um, and just like friggin' derail the whole thing, but hopefully I can bring us back on track. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, dude, it's all good. Um, it's holiday, man. We're just hanging out today. Yeah, brother. So basically, before I go there, just to finish it off, I splurged on some juice as well, even though I don't need any juice. I bought three 120s of transistor, uh, one of them being Tango Melon, uh, Galactic Milk, and LSD, I think it is, right? LSD, mm -hmm. not LCD, LSD. Um, and so I, and then you get like 20% or 25% off. So I just, I had to do it. Why not? Um, might as well vape the things you really enjoy and then vape through the stuff that you're kind of meh about. Um, yeah, so I spend too much money. Um, I won't say how much, but too much. Let's just put it, it that happens. way. Yeah. Oh, that, that is a shocker. Oh, okay. Coming from the vape <laughs> God himself. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, I miss you guys. Yeah, buddy. Got that fiends hat on. Um, oh, all right, yes. so what am I vaping on? I'm vaping on the L Thunder uh, 2700 with the profile on top. Um, this electric blue with a white drip tip. Thank you, James, for shouting that out. Always keeping me matchy matchy. Um, inside of there, I have lemon berry, which tastes fantastic. Like it tastes like a completely different <coughs> juice in a better way out of this profile, which is interesting. I like it. I like it as a dripper. I like it a lot as a dripper. I'm also vaping on the Black Cosmonaut with a uh, stubby Half Moon mod strip tip um, on the Dream Trooper with a black button. It's dope. I got that. That looks dope there. on there, Yeah, bro. dude. It looks I mean, really the, good. The pop of color is nice, but I'm thinking about that uh, 
that DHD tip. Dude, with you know which one would look good on there too? Yeah, the bat one. Oh, the abalone. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, with the bat, the batty, like bat crazy or whatever it's called. It's like it's kind of clear, but it's really white. Yeah, it's frosted like that with yep. little black bats in it. it. Would look dope. Oh yeah. Um, inside that's of there cool. is the last little bit of my tango melon, which is why I was oh. not going to buy more. But I, I just figured to myself, why, why dude, fight it? I'm not quite as far down as you, but I'm getting there, bro. It's, uh, oh, dude, it's a sad. Now day. you know why I vape a metric ton of this. Because it's your favorite. Yeah, but yeah. always have a bottle of your favorite juice in always. stock at some point, homies and those in the audience. Um, it just, you know, why fight it? If you have other juice, that's great. But always have an anchor juice that you absolutely adore. Um, and finally, <laughs> I'm vaping on the purple dreamer with the purple reload BF 1.5. Oh, very um, nice, bro. Yeah, matches perfectly. Dude, matchy, match oh, oh yeah, matchy, matchy game is yeah. in a whole another, another level. level. Yeah, yeah, buddy. And in that, I have apple cream custard by legit because this is quickly becoming one of my favorite juices to vape. Uh, and that's that's me. So thanks for letting very me nice. uh, jump in in the middle of the show. No worries, man. You're, you're part of the omies, man. We, we've got to have you here whether you're late. You know, you show up in the last five minutes. <laughs> never you show up, you know, for the first five minutes. You're here, bro. That's all that counts. I mean, there are a ton of uh, eggplants going up for yeah, sale. What's, what's, yeah, what's up with the eggplant yeah, bombs? Yeah, what are the eggplant bombs for? This isn't the stew. <laughs> oh, it is uh, eggplants for swaggins, apparently. Oh, okay. Thank you for the eggplants. M much appreciated, guys. But yeah, um, I don't know about you guys, but how about we talk about uh, a juice that we've been really enjoying for the past week or so or past month? Because this is something we haven't done in a while. We're going to do our favorite juice of the week. Yeah. Oh, what do you guys got? Um, I know what I'm going to say, but I've said it before, so I kind of have to think about it one more time. Um, so I'll just pass it off to one of you guys, whoever feels like they want to go. I'll go, go for first. it. I'll, I'll go first. Yeah. I'll pick <laughs> I'm trying two. to remember what we have on that list already. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead there, uh, Poon Sauce. Okay. What I'm going to pick this week is going to be Casadaga's Cannoli B1. Really good. Solid cannoli? Cannoli B1? Yep. Nice. Play on words. Solid cannoli flavor. Very nice. And nice. for me, is actually this the sticky one but with a twist you have to let it steep the more For you steep least, it yeah the better it is guys i'm telling you guys i've literally it's had a bottle good. steeping with like this much in it for like the past month just because i want to savor that in the last deliciousness mm -hmm. um well i guess shoot i don't know what i want to say guys because there's so many in front of me that i've said before i'll go Oh, you know what? Where, where's that? While, while we're waiting for James, I'll 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 already tell you. Um, it's this apple uh, cream custard from Hometown Hero, the legit line. This stuff's jamming. Uh, is know. it like a, a green apple or? Uh no, it's not. It's not like a sour apple. It's more like a red apple. Oh, like golden delicious. Yeah, it says a perfect balance of light sweet fiji apples dunked in a delicious heavy whipped cream custard yeah buddy oh that does sound delicious i might have to try that out today for me i'm actually going to go with the sweet lemon bar from the home town hero legit line this stuff almost i, I gotta tell you guys is pretty dang close to replacing marcellus for me and you guys know how big oh. a deal that is for me because i absolutely love marcellus but this stuff's a very very close second like it's almost it's almost knocked it off the top tier. So if you guys haven't tried it out, go check it out. Honestly, the whole legit line from Hometown Hero is phenomenal. Everyone that I've tried is good. But uh, that's going to be my juice for the week, guys. Oh, stick into the theme of Hometown Hero because we love them so much. Absolutely. Uh, why so cereal? Oh, I've heard great things yeah, about that, that one. one's pretty good, man. Like, not to be an ass, mine's better, but still it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, dude. Yeah. It's yours. But seriously, like, I, I honestly, like, it has one little note that's different from mine. and But other than that, I probably couldn't tell the difference. It you know what? I know mine so well. 
This is pretty cool. We're actually having some people in the chat throwing in their favorite juices of the week, which I think is actually pretty cool, guys. We have uh, Not So Scrawny Connie is saying Vaptasia Blackberry Lemonade is her juice of the week. I've heard actually really good things about that for multiple people. I might actually have to get my hands on it and try it out. We've got uh, Richard Crawford, who I believe is all the way over in the UK. Big shout out to you for tuning in. He says his is Joe's Juice Fruit Salad which is amazing and he's been loving it all this week which is awesome yeah what bro. About, what about any other guys out there in chat we've got a uh, whole bag says clockworks custard this is really good for right now considering um labor day deals are still going on yeah. so if you see some juices that jump out to you um this might be a good time to hop on over and, and snag one up yeah we've got uh Jacoby Vape says Crooks by 5150 e liquid, which is an Oreo cookie with a waffle cone. Ooh, so it's like a mm -hmm. chip uh, cookies and cream ice cream from what it sounds I like. Must have. Tyson's blend. Ooh, and then of course we got Shadow Link saying the Fair Dinkum by the Bogan Brews, which I'll agree is a pretty, pretty tasty juice. Not going to lie. Um, what else we got here? We've got a uh, – Stan says he's – what is this? Crucible. Crucible Savior Butterscotch Ice Cream, which actually sounds really delicious. That's something I'd definitely love to try. Of course, eat the Everyday Vapors, vaping some of that Psycho Crawler uh, Side B from Deep Cuts. Dude, I've been wanting to try that because I've had a bottle of this Dragon Shake by Deep Cuts, and this stuff is phenomenal. So I can only imagine how good that uh, psycho crawler is. Has anyone tried um, either the Dinner Lady Lemon Tart or the Country of Clouds or Country Clouds uh, Lemon Pudding Pie? I've tried that one. The yeah, Country the Lemon Tart. You've tried it. How is it? Because I well, just bought. So that's I bought like uh, I think on E Liquid or E Juice Direct. They do it like a deal of the day, and I bought those two together for like twenty bucks. Well, nice. that's why I feel like it. If, if, yeah, if you vape it right out of bat, mm. you'll you'll get the lemon more than the 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 creaminess of the tart thing. Coil Co yeah. says here that the country clouds is amazing. So wait, which one though? The one I said put the lemon pudding pie or the, the, um, the, the, the cornbread corn pudding. Cornbread pudding is amazing. Is top of I'm gonna the have line to, lemon tart. I'm gonna right have now. to try that. Top of the line lemon tart. Oh, really? I'm I'm a, I'm gonna have to argue with that man because uh, <laughs> this Savage Marcellus right here I think is a little bit better personally. But uh, no, dude, I've actually had the dinner lady lemon tart. It's pretty good as well, but the Savage takes it for me. Okay. Um, I gotta try that lemon bar, dude. Honestly, the the lemon bar by legit is. Oh, so good, dude. Because you get a little bit more of the graham cracker crust, Ooh. but you still get that real nice lemon up front. Oh, dude, it's so good. So good. And uh, Coil Image says all of, all of the country clouds is good. So okay, that's definitely reassuring for sure. But I, I will say the Dinner Lady Lemon's Heart is pretty good, bro. Um, but personally, I go with the Savage. Okay, right. James, James, we need an update. An update. How, yeah, how many did you go through the 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 buy gel blast? Oh, um, I'm actually I kind of took in a break from it because I've had so many other juices going on. This is my fourth bottle, and I'm down to like the very last like third of the bottle. So uh, definitely going to be a new bottle of uh, blast off in my future for sure, for sure. But um, I'll tell you guys one thing. I've been killing this Turkish harvest. Uh, the cool Good thing stuff. is, is I found I had an extra bottle this morning, which I was very excited about. And I found another bottle of that coil turd as well. And you guys know how much I love that stuff. So that was awesome. I actually had, I, I don't know if uh, a lot of the people in Discord know, but I finally got my new desk setup going on. So I actually have space to kind of see Put what I got. Which is awesome. Yeah. Gotta say, I do love it. I'm loving this dual monitor life, guys. It's oh, you got, you got the second monitor? Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, it's making the streaming thing so much easier. <laughs> yeah, it's working out pretty cool. 
Well, then, would you just look at that? You're you're getting more and more I, authentic before I am, our very man. eyes. I am, man. Uh, and, uh, uh, working harder need... and harder to get that channel started for you guys uh, as well, dude, man. Now, all you need is a Mac PC. Uh, no. They're not called <laughs> Mac PCs, bro. I've been well, hearing a lot. It's it's a PC, if, if, as in an extended external entity. Well, let, yeah, let's Those be honest. Desktops. PC stands for personal computer, but there's a definitive difference culturally between calling something like PC or Mac. So it's like, are you PC or are you Mac? No, I'm Mac PC. Oh, all yeah. right. <laughs> sounds good. That sounds like a weird combination of the two. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of people in the chat talking about this cornbread pudding from uh, Country Clouds. Yeah, I, I know uh, Overdrip, uh, one of our filthy casuals in the Discord server, has been loving this stuff. So maybe I might need to check that out. We got a lot of people saying they're loving the hometown hero stuff. Uh, ben Build says the straw melon cupcake from Legit Lines amazing. Um, yeah, it's seems like everyone why am i an elitist whatever whatever stan <laughs> stan I, I didn't i put stan in a timeout probably <laughs> i wasn't here they may need one too bad this isn't the discord and we can't just put him in the safe space <laughs> oh well it's but so yeah, good he, yeah, guys, I know this show has been a little bit more laid back this time around than our usual scheduled program. But, you know, it's the holiday. Some of us have been spending time with our family over the weekend. We're just kind of yeah, just leaving. hanging out, chilling out with you guys, letting you know about the sales, telling you about what we picked up, things that we've seen online for a good price and whatnot. I know I'm definitely excited for some of the stuff I picked up. I don't know about you guys. Uh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, for DIYers or anybody that does want to get into DIY, uh, Nude Nicotine is doing a Labor Day sale, 20% off with coupon code Labor Day 1. And then uh, Labor Day 2 gets you 30% off on select products. So something to jump on if you guys uh, DIY or want to get onto that. Also, Corey, I don't know if you wanted to bring up the, the giveaway or oh, talk yeah, about definitely. that, touch on that for everybody. So we have a giveaway going on right now to where our buddy over over there, Coil Image, decided to put together like a, a, a builder's case for us where he has a bunch of his coils. He has three like three millimeter screwdrivers and cotton and scissors and everything all in there yep. and everything. So the giveaway is going to do, we're having it to where he, the signs that the people, let me see if you can see it right there. The... I quit, uh, I quit smoking my vaping sign. The host he posted on it adults like flavors. Yep, adults like flavors. Hashtag Omi's Advocate. And you're automatically entered in there. So we have around nine people that have done it so far. So we decided let's give more people an opportunity to do it. So we're extending it till next week. So we can get everybody else, more people that can get on that, even if you've done it already. Yep. Post it again. Put Omi's, Omi's Advocate. And you're automatically entered the win. And it's a great little builder setup. Yeah. Also, guys, don't forget to put the hashtags adults like flavors, hashtag uh, right. prohibition doesn't work, hashtag I quit smoking by vaping. Um, also, if you guys tag the I quit smoking by vaping Instagram, um, there's very high possibility that it will be reposted. Um, that way, you know, the more people we can get out there, you know, the, from different walks of life, whatever it may be, just to kind of get people to, to see it. Um, I'll definitely try to repost that for you guys. Also, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, the www.iquitsmokingbyvaping.com is live. Any information you guys need to know about uh, what we're doing behind the scenes with the I Quit Smoking by Vaping uh, campaign, per se, um, you guys can go check that out there. Um, I know there's a lot of people working hard behind the scenes trying to fight this bill, guys. So whatever you guys can do to help us out by you know writing your representatives, doing those hashtag adults like flavors pictures, you know, just spreading the word to anybody and anybody that will listen on those you know, pictures. We'll, please remember to tag uh, Jennifer Berger Coleman because she is yes. collecting those. Yes. That means no cloud checks, no hand yep. checks. This is about you and your testimony in a picture. Yep. You have the sign. The sign says it all. You're there to put a face with the message. 
Um, we're not trying to, you know, use those hashtags for our regular hand checks and our cloud posts and our coil posts. This is for, you know, the campaign that's a unified message to fight those who would try and um, snuff out uh, vaping as a safer alternative to uh, smoking cigarettes, as well as the fact that adults like to vape flavors. Um, that's it for me. <laughs> yeah, guys, do your yeah, part. So. You know, spread the word. Tell vapers, non-vapers, you know, people you know who may have people in their life that vape. You know, just spread the word. Go to your local vape shops. Talk to your shop owners. Make sure they're educated. You know what I mean. See if what they're doing to help. See if there's any way that they can help. You know their customers. You know maybe you're just coming in, bringing in a couple of those signs that you printed off. Just say, hey, you know maybe you guys should, you know, take some pictures with your customers when they buy a juice and collect some pictures. And because I know uh, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram doing that. That work in shops. A lot of people that are you know uh, know people that own shops are doing it. The more pictures that we get out there and the more that we're showing that we're not going down without a fight, guys, the better chance we have to keep these flavors. As an aside, uh, we have an email. I'm not sure if they mentioned it uh, or if uh, you guys have heard it a million times, but we'll mention it again now. Uh, vaping uh, with the Omis. Yeah, vaping with the Omis or vaping with the Omis at gmail.com. Either one will link you to us. Uh, we would love it uh, to get some feedback on what we're doing, what we could change, what would make it better, what you like. Also, potential guests who you would like to see on the Omi show, uh, topics that you'd like to hear us discuss, whether you want us to talk about more consumer y kind of stuff, like, you know, as hobbyists, what makes us love vaping, why we have what we have, why we, you know, why we bought what we bought and what we're into, and maybe like where we started and where we're at now. Um, things like that would be great. Uh, if you want to email us at once again, vaping with the omies or vaping with the omies at gmail.com. Uh, we would love to kind of collaborate with you to, you know, do stuff that's interesting for you guys, as well as, you know, just doing stuff that's interesting for us. Absolutely. Exactly. Definitely. Uh, and, and just to make it clear uh, again for you guys, we're here are uh, just as consumers. We're not reviewers. So we're giving our experiences basically so oh, yeah. uh, as a consumer point of view oh yeah i mean i still vape on products from two years ago yeah i mean the yeah. thing is too is that you'll see pretty much i'd say 99 percent of what we show you we bought ourselves Absolutely. so i mean we haven't been given anything not that it you know sways the typical reviewer but there's there's no Real, like we, I don't have to say something's great, even if it's my friends. If I, if I, or like a, a somebody I know that built that made something, you know, I bought it with my money. Um, if I yeah. like it, I like it. Um, if I don't like it, I'll tell you so. Oh, yeah. Yep, we're just here to give you guys our honest opinions and tell you from you know a regular vapors hobbyist outlook, and you know. And we wouldn't be here if it, was, if it wasn't for everybody hanging out in the chat and talking to us. We're on a, we, we're a consumer we do it for, show we do it on for both them. ends. Yeah. Uh, shout out to everybody, everybody that hangs out with us in the chat. You guys are what keeps us ticking. Yeah, we used to be those guys hanging out yeah. in the chat. And then <laughs> and we now made we're, our own show. Okay. Yeah. So. I will say it's still more fun being on the chat. Than <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. Unless you're a moderator, look at Frank freaking Wolf just killing oh, no, it right Frank now. Frank is killing it, man. Frank always kills always it, man. Kills it for us, man. Always yeah. got to give a big shout out to Frank and everybody else that tunes in with us. Always a pleasure. Got to give all the love and praise to you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have the Omis. And, you know, I got to say absolute love and respect to you guys. Dude, how, how great is it to have Aziz back in the panel? Dude, oh honestly, it's, so. it's, it's been nice, dude, man. I, I miss being here. Look at that well, handsome man. We missed you. Man. Don't worry, buddy. Happy, Let's get X-1's happy birthday. X-1's yeah. birthday. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Happy, happy birthday, birthday man. Disease and thank happy you, birthday guys. wishes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We all love Aziz and we all love having him on the show. Absolutely. Yeah, guys, we're getting towards that end. It's almost that time, clown. What do you think, man? Yeah, let's uh let's put this puppy to bed. And uh thanks for joining us, guys. Uh seriously, jump on some of those sales. Enjoy your your vapey time there. Uh, you know. 
that's all it really comes down to is sometimes you get those moments where you can buy things that you normally can't and that to me is always an awesome thing uh so check us all out on instagram we got uh what is it frames 116 poon sauce mcnasty poon sauce underscore mcnasty don't forget there that underscore otherwise you won't be able to find me all right Hopefully. then uh vapor underscore swaggins and you're gonna have to correct me on the dots yeah. here kuwaiti dot vapor no kuwaiti vapor dot aziz that's q kuwaiti but it sounds Q-80. like kuwaiti isn't that funny yeah, it's clever. <laughs> and then Clown Vapes. Hey, look up Q80 on Instagram. That gets interesting. Mm. <laughs> There's a million of them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we talk about a lot about the Discord group. Check out the Vapes 2 Facebook group. That's where you get the link. Otherwise, you're not welcome. <laughs> yeah, well. And yeah. answer the damn questions. There you go. Please. I don't know how many more times we got to tell you. <laughs> if you guys don't answer the questions, you're not going to get added to the group. We want everybody to be a part of it, but we got to be able to filter out the spam accounts and everything else. So unless you guys answer the questions, we ain't letting you in. Simple as that. Yep. All right, guys, as always, uh, thanks for being here. We'll catch everybody that's on Discord with us later on today. And yeah. Alrighty, guys. Let's do this. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>